Hey guys, I'm looking for some rope today because what I'm going to do is there's a tree that's leaning like this. While um, my neighbor has a tractor, we're going to just pull it up. Just looking for some rope. Yeah, I know you're probably saying, well, Ross, why are you dealing with a tree when you got a house to deal with? Well, we're waiting on a permit for the septic anyway, so there's not much more we can do but adjust a couple garage doors. So, I figured I'd do this. Drill bits, because I need to find a drill bit, because I need to fix this door. This might not too big. I don't want to go too big, because then you're going to strip it. And this might be perfect. Tell me if that's good, guys. Good? Hey, Dad, safety goggles, and it went through like butter. Right through. I love it. Thanks, Dad. My tripod just took a trash. Darn it. Let's see how I did in the door. Now I put four bolts on each lock. There was only two recommended. I drilled three, two, two more holes on each side, so eight holes. It was quick. My dad's bits. They're called speed bits from the factory. Zoom, zoom, right through. They don't, they don't, they don't dull. Check it out. I also put a padlock on each side. I don't play around. Not like there's anything in here. It's just of great value. It's just heavy old furniture that you really couldn't take. It's just too much, too heavy. So we don't want to break this tree, right, with this big chain. I got those nice hooks in the ground real good. I got to get some rope, so. What do we do, keep the tractor here until I get rope this afternoon? Because I got to go back, I got to go in town. Do you think, uh, you think it's going to bounce right back when you let go, though? Okay. Sometimes this gentleman likes to have stuff go south, as you've seen in a bulldozing video. But we're going to try to go easy on this tree. I told you. It's south or nothing with these trees. It's a permanent fix, he said. Whoa! Well, another foot. Let go. You're perfect. I don't even think I need... It went like butter. Nope. Yeah, but it... I don't, I don't think you need to. Cause you're gonna lower the, you're gonna pull it right out. Is it, is it? He's just gonna leave that tree right over there. It's really crooked. It looks really good now. And then I'm gonna get some rope and just tie it around it with a little tree tree wrap, and just stand it up. This way we don't have to look at crooked, 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 crooked. This proves to you how long we've been in business. Don't freak, ring a geek. The shirt was in storage, so I figured I'd put it on. Your belly sticking out? What? Lift your arms up. What'd you just say? Lift your arms up. Your belly is sticking out. It's not sticking out? It is. My belly's sticking out. It is. Lift your arms up in the air and I will show everybody. <laughs> I went through all of his clothes, got rid of all of his sum winter stuff and put his summer stuff in his drawers. So I have all that stuff in the garage and now I'm going through all my winter stuff and my shoes and just about everything else I could possibly think of. What are you doing behind my back? Nothing, I'm trying to be on the <laughs> camera too. You have enough light in this place, you gotta get lighting. It's a camera. We're over the big yellow bus. I call it a bus. And we're gonna drop off the packer, get that out of here, and then we're gonna go to return it. Daddy can't drive. Daddy can't drive. Daddy can't drive. Get back so Daddy can drive the big truck. Yeah. Come on, Mommy's in Walmart getting some rope. Daddy can't drive. Daddy gotta bring bring the truck back. Come on. Well, we're in town. Freddie is dropping off the um, Penske truck, and I've got my monkeys here. The monkey and a ducky. 
I had to run to Walmart and oi, on a weekend, not a good idea. But whatever, it's done and over with and now we're gonna be able to hopefully have a relaxing weekend. Probably won't happen, but fingers crossed that I get to sleep in or something tomorrow. I'm at the Peterson's Body Shop, brought this down. And this Peterson Body Shop, his shop is like immaculate, right? He's really good. Uh, he recognized our RV video with me, with a Harvey. When I put the gel coat, the wax on Harvey. And he, he says, you're the guy on TV. Oh my gosh. There you go. Okay. You'll see it tonight. Now this guy at the detail shop, he's a really cool guy. Get, get your car down there if you're in a local, local area. He's real good. Um, I'm going to try him out too, but I've seen it at work he did. It was excellent. You know, it's funny because he says, you know, I know who you are. But he didn't even look at me. He heard my voice from YouTube. And he knew who I was before he even looked at me. He turned around and goes, that's the guy. That's funny, huh? I mean, this we're way out in the country. How the heck does this guy know? This is almost straight up. See if you can do it. Oh, like straight up. Oh, that tractor's got some power. Oh. There's a dozer that did my uh, trees. We got rid of the other trees today too. Tell you what, I'm gonna start slowing down because I am tired. Got almost everything done. Danny came over and moved all those trees. Those pine trees that we pulled out, they're all cut up. I gave them away. I don't want to deal with pine. You guys are right. I don't want to be able to deal with pine. I told you guys in the last video to uh, hammer down that bell. There's a bell right underneath. It'll give you notifications every time we have a video. Uh, this way it'll go to your email. Do that, and then you'll get the notifications. You'll be the first one to watch the defrays. Not like we're worth watching, but you know. It's going in, it's growing in. Grass is growing in, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. I'm probably gonna relax tomorrow. Go to church maybe tomorrow and Sunday. There's two people, we, we're invited to church by two different people. But they're both really good people. Well, I just got my walk slash run on and the treadmill kept <laughs> freezing and I kept mid run mid run uh, driving me nuts but hopefully we can get it figured out and fixed so that I can go to town on the run because it I don't know I don't know what it is about running but and I know I probably shouldn't be running right now but I love it. I honestly love it. You get on there and you go to town and all your worries and your stress is melts away. So that's about it. We'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, give us a like. That really helps us. Really, really does. Thanks. See ya. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.